Okay then, so here we go and welcome back. We are now into season four of my team career with Forza Jackson Racing. As you can see here, we're going for a new library and team color update. Absolutely minging. We're going to be sticking with Moon, our team sponsor for the season. All you have to do is earn 25 constructors points there. We're staying with Mercedes engine as well. As you can see, they're actually the worst on the grid now. The so that's interesting. Here we go for the car reveal, the new library absolutely atrocious but they want to stand out on the field this year the green the blue the white number the dark blue above the engine cover not what you want but here we go let's get into Bahrain for the first race of the season we're going straight into qualifying we know Bahrain well let's hope for a really good qualifying good start to the season let's see what it brings us So here we go then, our first qualifying of the season. Going to go out on the soft tyre at Bahrain at night time. Nice and cool track as we go across the line to start our first qualifying of the season. Down the long straight, DRS is available on this long straight in the race. Nice tidy first corner, taking a lot of apex on that second corner there. DRS will open up here. and swings it right, a lot of apex taken there, goes wide. Do a sharp downshift just here to get that right, nicely done, keeps it in bounds. Loses a couple of positions there, Max Verstappen showing provisional P1. Make sure you don't spin it on there by getting on the accelerator early. Hard braking point here. A nice tidy line kept though. DRS opens up for us. Valtteri Bottas and Mercedes showing P1. Takes some apex there to swing it in left. Ooh, looks like we've got that corner wrong. Still keeping our P5 at the minute. Verstappen retakes P1. We go wide there, just missed the gravel pit there. Straight drag race down to the end of this one. Swings it in right-handed for the home turn. Oh, took a lot of apex there. Cut the corner by just a bit. DRS opens up for us. Max Verstappen takes P1. And, with qualifying and we take P5. Our top three today. George the Russell in P14 there. With qualifying complete, so Max Verstappen, Pierre Gasly, Red Apex. Bull lockout. Months of rumour and speculation all come to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. Formula One returns to the desert today on this exceptional 3.36 mile circuit. 15 corners provide plenty of overtaking opportunities. It could be a strategic race this one with Sakir notorious for eating up the rear tyres. Watch out for drivers managing their rubber at some point during the Grand Prix. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. and They've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position with Pierre Gasly alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Hamilton, Jackson and Leclerc, Sainz, Norris, Ricardo, and Lance Stroll. So here we go, then we're getting ready to start our first race of the season. 14 laps of Bahrain at night. Six laps on the soft tyre. We're going to switch and go to the medium tyre for that. So here we go, we start the race. Five lights. And away we go. And as you can see there, someone spun the wheels on the track. Big puff of smoke, the two Mercedes looking lively there, getting involved. 
go massively wide there. Cut the corner was side by side against Lewis Hamilton. Oh, a little bit of a wheel bang there. Shot coming together there. Jackson looks to do Hamilton on the inside. The Ferrari there now getting involved. Taking a narrower line through that corner there, Jackson. And again, doesn't use the full width of the track. Can he catch Hamilton up? Not in this braking zone. Long straight here though where he could pick up a slipstream. He also has the Ferrari right behind him though. He's got to be careful. Breaks into it, swings it left. Gets the car prepared here for a right-hander. Nicely done. Goes a bit more wide than the rest of the cars there. As he gets down this back straight, Lewis Hamilton in his sights. Half a second to Lewis Hamilton, one second to Carlos Sainz behind. As we go across the finishing line for the first lap of the Bahrain Grand Prix. He's getting close to it. Could he pull off a late breaking move? It looks to slip down the inside. Oh, the touch. Jackson did not get the breaking point right there and they touched. Just to join back on the lap five here. Still sat in P5. Hamilton 2.8 seconds in front. Signs 2.3 seconds behind. So not within DRS range to take advantage of that extra speed. way around the track, it's quite a lonely race at the minute. Downshift there into that right hander, took a bit of apex there. Lewis Hamilton is pulling away in front, just opened up a 3.1 second lead there. So it looks like Hamilton is out of touch. If Jackson could keep P5 here though, that'd be a fantastic result. Still a long way to go in the race yet, and we are about to box. Only one stop to go. One stop left in this strategy. Your pit window opens next lap. There we go. So Jeff letting us know. We'll be pitting after the next lap. Pit window open. Let's box this lap. We're leading our teammate. There we go. So we're coming into the pits. Lap six. We dive in. Swap them softs for mediums. And out we go. Let's get racing straight from the out. Who have they come up next to here? It is the Alfa Romeo. Jumps out in front. Has Hamilton to catch. That gap down to 1.9, so we managed to take a second out of Hamilton in the pit stop. A very good result. Oh, goes a bit wide there. Maybe just these new tyres just need to settle in. Hamilton at 1.6 seconds now. He is getting closer. Oh, just catches a bit of oversteer there. Loses a couple of tenths. Really nice corner there, just nicking the apex on the inside and then touching the apex on the outside. Goes a little bit wide on that corner there, yet again just misses the gravel pit, which you don't really see on this track. But it is there. There we go, George Russell George in, is in the, the pit. Pits. George in the pit. So what can we do here as we pass the pit lane straight? Plenty of cars in there. Who do we come out in front of? That is a really, really nice 
Oh, look at this. They're all bunched up here. Bottas just come out of the pit lane. Looks like he got held up by a couple of cars. Look how close they are now. Hamilton, less than half a second. What's going to be possible here as we join on board with the Red Bull? Trying to overtake the Alpine. Looks like Max Verstappen there. Lap 7 action. Pulls out to the side. Down the home straight. And takes that position. Nicely done. You can see us just riding in the background there. But here it is. Valtteri Bottas comes out of the pits. Thrown into the action. And that just enabled us to catch up at the rear. Stalking our prey, as they say. Hamilton in this corner. Oh, they touch. That was aggressive from Jackson on the corner. A warning from the FIA now for a collision with Hamilton. We've got past him though. Nicholas Latifi's on softs, which means he must be pitting this lap. So another place gained, hopefully, if he holds off Hamilton behind. He goes round Latifi. Jack can battles Latifi, even though Latifi will pit. The gap ahead is 3.0 seconds. So there we go, we have taken P4 now. Hamilton trying to win that place back down the straight. Just gets held off. Nicely done. There's Valtteri Bottas, Jackson and then Hamilton. Lap 9 action. Can you defend this all the way to the end though? Same engines in the car, but you just know that Mercedes have got the better car, a better aero package, better powertrain. This is going to be all about driver skill. It's pulling away here, Jackson. Just shy of a second, which he needed for the DRS zone. So Hamilton will have DRS down this straight. Looks like it's too far back. Gap he is. teammate behind is 15.3 seconds. Ooh. Just go over the start line for lap 10. Hamilton's making an effort round the outside. Jackson defends the inside. Nicely done, but Hamilton is closer. Will he get another run at it here? Hamilton pulls out to the inside, he backs off. Jackson covers the corner. Great defending there. Now as we go over the start finish line here for I'll lap 11. Hamilton yet again. He is in front. What will Jackson be able to provide here? He goes down the inside, late breaking, keeps that position. Hamilton will fight back. Oh, it's nip and tuck. Jackson keeps the place. How many more times can he do that though? Lap 11, three laps to go. Will he be able to defend like that for the next three laps? Let's see. As he comes across the last corner on the 14th lap, he does defend the place to Hamilton. He pulls away by 3.6 seconds. Pierre Gasly wins the race, but Jackson comes, P4. And a real champion's drive to take the win. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I really feel the track layout, combined with the track temperatures we saw today, suited their car. These cars... Drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our... After that excellent result, Pierre Gasly is the new points leader in the Drivers' Championship. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Well, Crofty...